Nakamura looking strong going into WrestleMania, dog. What were your expe expectations of him at the top guy role? Yeah. I, look, I didn't know. I didn't know. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I've never been to Japan. I've never wrestled in Japan. Uh, we actually have a live events tour coming up that I'm going to try to get on just so I can say bucket list. I've been to Japan and eat nice. at Ribera's Steakhouse. Um, but, but I didn't know what Nakamura brought to the table. And I'm just talking about my ignorance here. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't know what he did. I didn't know. I wasn't a fan of Japanese wrestling. I, I, well, I love Japanese women's wrestling because I always thought they would beat the crap out of each other. And it yeah. was like different, something different than we saw here early in the eighties and stuff when I was growing up. And so I don't know. I just, I, I never, I never experienced that wrestling. So I didn't know what he brought to the table until, and look, this is even post, uh, post NXT. I still am thinking like, man, what does everybody see in this guy? And then yeah. I saw him perform on like a, a takeover, like in a big venue with a lot of tickets sold. And I thought, Man, it, it just a different dude came out of that thing, and a different wow. dude. He lit it up, and it, it just the light bulb went off in my head, and I said, "I get it now. I see what they see now." And maybe it just took a minute for me to drink it all in, but I I remember the moment of uh, holy mackerel! I see what they're getting, what they're seeing, and he was on fire right now. Um, we knew or we thought about, and right, wrong, or indifferent, it was thought about if he's the top if he's a top guy how does he do his promos does he do you know what i mean that that's not problematic but it is a a, a concern and so you do have to so so look i'm i'm learning about him and learning his strengths and weaknesses as we go here uh because i didn't have the luxury of being a fan beforehand and i'm sorry i wasn't you know after it's one of those things where you go oh my god i can't believe i didn't like rainbow sherbert you know what i mean <laughs> like where where have i been on that uh but 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 that was so I was learning and I was learning yeah. right now. And, and I, honestly, I'm a fan. And I said this before, I'm a fan of, of speaking in your native tongue and, and doing using subtitles, because I think if you're a global company, there's no reason not to have the, and look, that's just my feelings too. There's no, no reason not to speak in different languages. People do that. Um, but, but I forgot where we were at again. Man, sure I'm on fire subtitles could have worked for him. Yeah. 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 I, that was the thing was, was I was learning about, what is this guy going to look like if he's a yeah. top guy? Because look, sometimes you don't see that until, until they get kind of there and you go, wow, this dude carries it well. Some dudes you get there and you think this guy's going to be a failure and they carry it well. And so I, you know, he, I was, I was learning about Nakamura and will he be the top guy? He's, we're talking about 2018. This is what, five years ago. He's still in the yeah. conversation, you know? 